Our next speaker is in his ninth season at his alma mater, much like Graham at his, at his home, where he was an excellent lineman back in the day at Carr, played at Grambling, and he got even Scoobers to four consecutive state championships from 2006 to 2019, and the state title game appearances in 2015 and 2020. He served as an assistant coach at his alma mater before being elevated to head coach in 2015. He and Carr High School were the subject of the Hulu documentary, Algiers America, earlier this year, which received enormous critical acclaim, and it was a blessing to be part of that. At 3-0, the Cougars face St. Augustine Saturday, 6.30, Tank Wormley Stadium. It's a game you can watch live via replay at CrescentCitySports.com. By the way, I want to recognize my favorite assistant coach, Kevin Russell, who's here today. He was a great head coach in his own right, by the way, and a blessing to know him and love him as a friend. Speaking of which, please welcome another great friend and a great coach, Coach Bryce Brown of Endicar. Uh, good evening. Uh, I just want to thank the Great New Orleans uh, Sports Foundation. Um, and my sentiments is, just like Graham said, you know, Mr. T is a, not only a, a great advocate for high school sports, but he is it's humbling to say he's a friend of mine as well. Um, we always extend texts and, and calls, and I don't know if I can tell him as much as I can how much I appreciate him and what he has done to not only publicize what we're doing at in the high school, but any high school that is having success on and off the field. Um, quick shout out to any coach who's coaching black, white, Hispanic. Um, the time and consistency and the effort that we have to put in to all of these student athletes, I think that needs to be, be said. Even though sometimes at our different high schools, we come from different spaces culturally, but I think in the end, we always try to strive to be in the, in, in the best place for our, our youth, right? If it's black or white, we want our kids to be successful. We want our kids to not only be great athletes, but great student athletes, like Coach Manali and his, his young player. It's, it's really humbling to say MIT is your first choice and John Hopkins is your second choice. <laughs> He's much smarter than me. <laughs> but I think in the end, you know, putting on mainstream and putting the priority when we talk about the kids who are doing it right, right? The kids who are binding to the message of discipline, of consistency, of fighting through adversity, of not only how you respond to that adversity, but the character is instilling in you when you achieve success through fighting through adversity. You know, we sometimes create our own creatures of our own havoc, right? So we kind of create as coaches, these stressful situations, but in the end, it's just a game. It's a humbling game, it's a game that teaches us not only to fight, but not quit, but to, number one, pass what you've learned on to the next person, on to the next generation. So, it doesn't matter if you are at Carr, it doesn't matter if you're at Jesuit, it doesn't matter if you're at De La Salle. The end message is still the same, and I think the day we start making our mission our top priority instead of state championships, that's the day that all high schools will be successful. State championships are just the, the extra, the land yap to what we are doing. What we are doing is we are trying to save our youth not only from the new world of social media, the new world of uh, anxiety, depression. We're trying to teach them how to, number one, be comfortable in their own skin and accept who they are, right? So we as coaches have to not only draw up the X's and O's, we have to deal with these issues every day. And I just wanted to say that publicly because yeah, we get a lot of attention based off our documentary and what we're doing on the field, but off the field, you know, our coaches are doing a great job. And the coaches at other high schools, in every high school, they're going through the same things, the same adversity that we're dealing with. And I just want to say publicly to all the coaches out there, thank you for what you're doing. 
And I think, number one, making sure that our positive, our positive is really outweighing our negative. Let's celebrate what these kids are doing off the field. Let's celebrate the number of scholarships that are given to these players and what they're doing past the football field. Because one day, people will have to see them in a life without the helmet on, right? So I think it's our job, it's our responsibility to, number one, instill in them that character. Character is who you are when nobody's watching, right? So let's watch them and let's teach them collectively, not only as a city, as a state, as a whole country. And I think if we all buy into that mission, we'll all be state champions. Thank you.